It's an absolutely beautiful day here in Palm Desert, California. 72 degrees as I'm taking a walk here with Gigi, AKA Boo Boo, say hi Boo Boo. She wanted to come out, say hi to everybody, take a little walk. And uh, while we're out here walking, we got a lot to talk about. Now, if you're tuning in for good news, rainbows, puffy white clouds, teddy bears, and fairy dust, uh, it, it's not gonna happen. Uh, what we are gonna talk about is reality, and the reality is the news continues to get worse. And we got some bad news in these markets today. Earlier today, Dow Jones was up over 100 points. The Fed minutes came out, and the Dow Jones closes down nearly 400 points. Cryptos across the board smashed. Uh, as I make this video late this afternoon on this December 5th, 2022, Bitcoin is down $3,300. And the Fed minutes uh, released some news today that we already knew, but the Federal Reserve is putting wheels in motion to reduce its balance sheet. And this is not gonna be good for NFTs, not gonna be good for meme stocks, not gonna be good for cryptos. And I don't think it's gonna be good for the stock market. And so today was a reality check. And there's still people out there that believe that nothing's gonna happen, Fed's never gonna raise rates. Well, today, now they're saying the Fed may actually raise rates. First rate hike might be a half a point, not 25 basis points, 50 basis points. Think about that. So we see a, a, a half point raise, interest, uh, interest rate hike. That is gonna be, I believe, that could be really catastrophic for the stock market. It's gonna be bad for NFTs, meme stocks, and cryptos also. But reality's coming, ladies and gentlemen. These people who thought that this isn't coming, they're drinking the Kool-Aid. They, 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 they have to think that because they don't want the party to end. They don't want the Fed to step in because they know the party will end. And everybody believing that the Fed is, is gonna save everything, the Fed has created this disaster. It's created this mess. And what stops them from creating the worst depression the world has ever seen. This is part of the wealth transfer, right, ladies and gentlemen? It's gonna be the 1% that come in and gobble all this stuff up on sale. You know, what I've been telling all of you, and what you've been telling me, uh, that when this whole thing crashes, we're gonna see massive sales. And the people with cash, the people with assets, are going to win. The people with debt, the people with no money, no cash, no assets are going to lose. They're going to be the debt slaves. The people who got suckered into these overvalued markets, the overvalued uh, stock market, bonds, uh, and real estate market, they're gonna lose. And it's gonna be the people that have been sitting on the sidelines with money, with patience, with assets that are gonna come in and scoop all this up and become even wealthier than they are now. And many of you who may not be wealthy right now are going to become wealthy because you've been very, very patient and you have been putting cash reserves away. You've been putting gold and silver away. You've got your debts paid off and you're going to capitalize, I truly believe, when this implosion takes place. And I don't think we're that far away. Again, Federal Reserve puts the wheels in motion for balance sheet reduction. And I think it's gonna, I, I, I don't think they have to do a whole lot to hurt these markets. And maybe they wanna hurt these markets on purpose. I mean, think about it, 0% interest rates for over a decade, artificial, massive artificial QE injections, all this manipulation in these markets, uh, all, all the buying of, of, uh, uh, of, of mortgage-backed securities and treasuries, how, how could they not know that at some point this is gonna do horrendous damage to these markets? So this could all be purposely being done, ladies and gentlemen, but at the end of the day, somebody's gonna win and somebody's gonna lose. Is that gonna be you? I, I plan to win. And look, I, I don't get any satisfaction uh, talking about this or talking about how much people are gonna lose and what's gonna happen and how many people are gonna lose their homes. 
but it is reality. I, I've had to make sacrifices. I've cut things out of my life so that I can take advantage of the situation, I'll not let the situation take advantage of me. And so we've really got to be thinking for ourselves now because I think we're really on the cusp of something very, very big happening. Very good article today in the Daily Mail. Venmo, PayPal, and Cash App will now have to report transactions totaling more than $600 to the IRS as the president plans to ramp up financial enforcement. Now, this is uh, very, very concerning. Uh, I, look, I, I looked at some other articles and some other videos talking about this, but the new reporting requirement will ensure that small businesses that receive payments through those apps are paying their fair share of taxes. Beginning January 31st, 2022, third party payment processors were required to report such transactions. So it has begun, it is now law. And uh, if this um, uh, is you, you better make sure that you're, you're crossing all your T's and dotting uh, all your I's because they're gonna be watching you. The changes will be included during the 2022 tax sector. The payment apps were previously required to send you, uh, users 1099K forms if their gross income uh, exceeded $20,000 or had more than 200 transactions. Now it's if it exceeds $600. This is unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen, uh, what, what they're doing. That means that they can just basically audit any small business that did a transaction totaling over $600. This allows them to you know, get into your, your small business books, see what you're doing. Um, if you uh, sell stuff on eBay, for instance, or Etsy, say that you buy and sell jeans or shoes or belt buckles or baseball cards or whatever you're going to have to you're going to get a 1099k and they're going to want to know how much did you buy those shoes for that you sold those shoes for on ebay or Etsy? how much did you buy that baseball card for and then sell that baseball card on ebay they're going to want to know and it's you're going to it it's going to be up to you to report this so they're watching everybody and this this brings me back to why i think it's so good to have some cash some gold some silver because it's so much harder to, to trace so much harder to follow and, and this is what they want they want everybody in digital money uh, they want to know where all your money's going how much money you're making and you know it's not going to affect the the multi-millionaire or billionaires they have the loopholes they have the lawyers and the cpas to get around all this stuff it's going to be the little guy again who's struggling right now uh, how many people in 2022 are going to struggle just to pay their taxes and now they want more it's going to be more taxation and now they're going to want to know about 600 plus transfers on venmo and paypal and these cash apps give me a break i mean it's unbelievable especially the assault on the little guy and the small business owner what is six hundred dollars today ladies and gentlemen i mean really think about it we're in 2022 what is six hundred dollars even buy but again this is just an excuse so that they have more power and more control to audit you to you know look into your bank accounts uh, look at look into your spending uh, it's, it's, it's really, really unbelievable, but we cannot audit the Fed. We cannot audit Fort Knox. How much gold is in Fort Knox? I thought it was ours. We're not allowed to know that. What about our politicians? How come a majority of them are multimillionaires? How do they make their money? We don't know. We're not allowed to know, but they're allowed to know when you spend $600, uh, when you receive $600. This is really really scary stuff and you should be concerned i think it's a real abuse of power you know another thing what about the bailout money that went supposedly was going to small business and all these restaurants and we have nearly 200,000 restaurants who haven't received their government bailout money and where's that money where is it but they want to know about your 600 dollars give me a break people should be fuming over what what is happening now you're going to have to prove where that money came from. Uh, you're going to have to prove how it was spent. Uh, again, how much did you buy those jeans for? 
when you sold them on eBay. You're gonna have to prove this stuff. You're gonna have to prove uh, where you, and how you spent that $600. Uh, what was that $600 received for? I mean, this is really nuts. Small businesses have been absolutely decimated the last two years. They were, they were struggling even before then. And with this uptick in crime, the uptick in, in taxation, more regulation, and now the reporting of $600, I mean, this to me seems like an assault on small business in America. And it's just another blow to the head of small business. Why, my question, and please comment down below, why are we not helping our small businesses here in America? Why are we not helping the small guy here in America? Why is it more control, more regulation, more taxation, and now they need to know how you got $600 in 2022? What is $600? I mean, that's literally a, a pair of Nikes today, but they wanna know. And so again, all this, Electronic digital money is just giving them more and more power to follow your finances and control you. And this is how they're just enslaving so many people across the world and right here in America. But uh, I, I really oppose all of this taxation and regulation for the small guy, for anybody, and, and especially the small business owner. It's, it's uh, appalling. It's absurd with what's going on. So who gets a 1099K? Again, if you're on eBay selling things, if you're on Etsy selling things, you're gonna get a 1099K. You will have to show what you paid for that pair of jeans, for that pair of shoes, uh, for that belt buckle, for that jacket. You're gonna have to prove what you paid for and what you sold it for. People are gonna have to keep track of this. The little guy, ladies and gentlemen, is not getting a break. It's so obvious and it is so, so sad. So where is this all leading to, ladies and gentlemen? I, I watched a video today and some, some people were kind of discussing this whole subject uh, of the 1099K and, you know, it's no big deal. Don't worry about it. We already, you know, report our taxes. Just do the right thing. Um, it is a really, really big deal. Uh, they want to know everything about you. But it's okay if you're a politician, if you're a multi-billionaire, uh, you don't have to report taxes. There's loopholes designed for you. You have uh, attorneys and CPAs and accountants that you can afford that the average person can not. But the problem is what happens, not if, but when it goes from $600 to $60 to $6 to six cents, that they're gonna wanna know where every penny came from and you're going to be liable uh, you're going to be responsible uh, for all of that and again this just allows them uh, access hello this is just allowing them access into your business and I yes we should all do the right thing pay our taxes uh, but we are where's our tax money going uh, our, our tax money is being so wasted the trillions of dollars that's been wasted in wars and military bases uh, uh, across the world and money we've given to various countries throughout the world and bailouts and all this stuff. My tax money has been wasted and now they want more, but they can't stop spending. Maybe if we stop spending so much money, maybe that would be the answer. Maybe they wouldn't have to tax people so much, but every time you go to the store, you're paying more. This inflation is a massive tax on the average American, okay? It is, it is another tax on the average American. More for food, more for gas, uh, more for healthcare, more for an automobile. Uh, it, it costs more to feed Gigi. Okay, I mean, everything is more, more, and more. And now, here we go again. And soon, they're gonna wanna know where that six cents came from. How did you get the six cents? They're gonna wanna know everything. But there's people out there justifying that this is okay, uh, just do the right thing. Um, I think already, I'm paying way too much in taxes, and I'm sure you are too. And we're not getting, here's the problem, we're not getting anything in return. I can tell you that, at least in California, as the freeways are falling apart, 
Uh, I've got homeless people all over the place. I try not to run them over. Trash all along I-10. Uh, the place is just falling apart. The, the infrastructure falling apart. Uh, our, our schools are falling apart. It's just, it's just a, a mess. So where is the money going? California got all this bailout money, but what has it done? I see more homeless people than ever. Uh, I see more infrastructure falling apart than ever. And I see people more unhappy than ever. So where is all the money going, ladies and gentlemen? But they want more. They want more. But uh, again, I, I watch some of these other videos and people say, don't worry. You know, it's nothing new. Just pay your taxes and, and do the right thing and everything's going to be fine. Uh, this is not normal. This is not right. And it's just more control, more control, more control. And it's like you have these elite up here and everybody else is just peasants. And the way to control you is to get you in debt and, and, and hit you hard with taxation. Read history, right? How, how did so many of, uh, uh, of these elite back in the day control people? Through taxation, through taxation, through, through debt. And so many people now are so dependent on the system to take care of them, to feed them, to house them. And more are going to land up dependent on the system and the government because they're absolutely going bankrupt. They're, they're broke. And so, uh, again, when you are weaponizing the IRS, very, very dangerous. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Comment down below. Uh, I'm sure more will come out on this uh, and we'll get more details and more specifics on it. But right now, from what I'm reading, this is terrible and it's really bad for small business. And we've already lost so many small businesses in America. We can't afford to lose any more. And this is really going to affect them. And it's, uh, it's just more paperwork and more regulation and more taxation for the little guy. And just the little mom and popper who might be selling stuff on eBay, you've now been targeted. So beware, be careful, because when they come knocking at the door, they're going to want to see that you've dotted all, all your I's and crossed all your T's, or there could be big penalties, big fines, maybe even jail. So pay your taxes, ladies and gentlemen. God bless. I'm going to get back to the house. Boo boo. Say, say goodbye to everybody. Um, anyways, we're still blessed and uh, it's... It's, uh, it's scary, ladies and gentlemen, and it, and it should scare you, and it should worry you, especially if you have kids. This debt, these taxes, the regulations. Um, it, it's a two-tier system now, ladies and gentlemen. Very few at the top, and the rest of us here at the bottom.